Yo, 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 this is the Kickoff FC Show. This is your boy, Right 2012, and that's your boy. That Roomba. You already know, man, we back. We talking about Manchester United, and we recapping the games. Yo, we've been gone for a minute, but that's because it was the holiday break, man. We had to take yes, some see. time off, you know? Merry, merry, and happy New exactly. Year. Exactly. Happy 2023 to everybody, and happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, man. So, mm-hmm. are we going to dive right in? Man U versus Bournemouth. Yes. That game was the I don't want to say the start of it but just the continuation of the form that Manu has been showing lately even before that even going into that game and I was like yo in my head I'm like I'm looking for a nice 3-0 beating on these boys <laughs> and I think that's what we got the yeah. score was 3-0 in that game and man tr- trust me that was a hell of a game hell of a game and I can't even believe I'm about to say this but my boy Luke Shaw is killing everything. Luke Shaw is having the season of his life. The wing back who I was riding off with Fred and the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Luke Shaw definitely showed up in this game with a crazy pass. Long field. You know what I'm saying? Finding Bruno. Setting up Rashford. And he scored. What? To continue his streak. And Luke Shaw scored. He definitely deserved at least like the man of the match, cold man yeah, of the think, match for I that. Think so. You know what I'm saying? And in that game too, Casemiro scored again. What a super buy. The buy of the last offseason. Because who else is dominating in the Central Park like Casemiro? He's the engine for us right now that's pushing, spearheading this win streak. Yo, mm-hmm. let me tell you something about Casemiro, bro. Actually, hold on. Let me go back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has been in great form. So take that, Mourinho. Take that. <laughs> well, then again, Mourinho would say, I always knew that the chap had it. Yeah, there. right. You know? This is what I wanted to see from you, Luke. Mm-hmm. And he played like the player that we expect him to be. No doubt. You know, so, and if he keeps playing in this form, he's going to be a solid, solid um, left back for us, playing on that side mm-hmm. of the yes. field. So. I think that the the strategy that Ten Hag is employing right now really, really helping out the wing backs. You know what I'm saying? Because he got one Basaka looking like a reformed player. You know what I'm saying? Delu, who wasn't heralded that much. At one point, Ten Hag Delu was fat. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Overweight. Who is a man? And then Ten Hag come in, and then just the strategy, the team is clicking. Yeah, this is what I love to see, man. Come on. Yeah, they're United. clicking right now. And a big part of the reason why they're clicking right now is because of Ten Hag himself. You can clearly see that this is a man with a plan. He has a plan and he's talking to the place. He he does something really great, which is any great coach knows this. You need to get the buy-in of the players. You need to get them oh, to believe yeah. in your philosophy. You need to get them to believe that what you're saying is right. You need to get them to believe that you love them, but at the same time, I am boss. And I love the fact that he did that. We're going to talk about that a little bit later down in the show, but Ten Hag has a plan. But on the field, the field general and the difference maker is clearly Casemiro. Like easily. I said, easily one of the, the best. Oh, I'm to you. Oh, that brown dog. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? Shit! <laughs> So, hey, so customer, one of the best buyers of the season, mm-hmm. of, the, of the year. And I heard how many critics and pundits were saying, oh, Casemiro, he doesn't have the same level of players around him. Like, what he had at Real Madrid. Oh, he's older now. Oh, he can't make those passes that he could. They don't oh, want us can't... to be great. They don't want us to be great. But you know who win. did? God did. God did? <laughs> yes, sir. God did? Easy. And look at the form we're in right now, man. You're running it. 
Casemiro scored. Casemiro defending. Casemiro getting valid yellow cards. This which I don't mind. Get them professional yellow cards. This is an experienced player. And he knows ex he's such a solid player. Vision. Can you imagine having other players like him on the team? No disrespect to McTominay or Fred or any of the others. Yeah. They're not quite on Casemiro's level. But I'm just saying as you continue to build depth on the Man United team, you can see that they can build around these players that are there and the partnership that he has with Ericsson and the freedom that he gives Ericsson. Yes. Because Ericsson is playing in a CDM spot and he and because he of Casemiro like and mm -hmm. this is what we said in the beginning in our videos, right? Casemiro being on the field will give Ten Hag the opportunity to let Ericsson be free and Bruno right. play where Bruno is best. Just roam, just flow. Do your thing. And you that is what these... Because yes. both of these guys typically occupy the same space of the field. True. But now with Casemiro picking up the defensive work, it gives Bruno and Ericsson an opportunity to work well together so that they're not stepping on him. So sometimes you see Bruno drift out to the, the left or the yeah. right. And same, you'll see Ericsson drift out a little bit, come a little bit more central or so on. And they work it out. And the proof is on the field. We're winning. Comfortably. And Clean it was an sheets. excellent... Three points and a nice, started a nice streak of clean sheets that we're going to talk about a little bit more in our other videos. But for now, this is the recap of Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Three points we picked up. You already know, man. This is your boy, Right2012, and that's your boy, Dan Rumba. Thanks for watching. We out. Uh -huh.